All right, so down here is the catacombs, just south of where we entered before. I'll go ahead and warp down there. Just watch the, the party proceed in that direction to see if we see anything interesting along the way. But it should be relatively straightforward to get to the catacombs. Another character to talk to. I don't think I need to sit there and investigate every single character right away, or we'll get we'll get lost forever in some of these early areas. Skin Flint. Huh. He's probably just some dude too, though, so it does not does not dwell for too long. I'll go ahead and create a new save right before right before we enter, because anything called a catacombs is probably a dangerous location, judging from every RPG ever made. The Copper Lane Catacombs. 60 experience earned. Alrighty then. Oh, this looks like a big area. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna want to explore slowly and carefully. What do we have here? Dead Initiate. Oh, that's a good first sign. As you approach the dead man, you feel the faint traces of his soul lingering, a stunning uncertainty holding it in place. When you near, without warning, the soul hurries towards you, as though you were a solitary light in the dank gloom of this place come to usher it away. Its essence invades your consciousness. You are in a different body now. Walking deeper into the catacombs, cloaked in a dark robe with a mask pulled over your face, you're following a familiar path along the canal, headed to a room built around a statue of a figure wearing a robe much like yours. Others await, clothed in hoods and shadows. Ahead is another figure dressed like you, traveling in the same direction. You don't know his name, and that's how it's supposed to be. Out of the darkness, something monstrous grabs the other figure. You turn to flee, but find yourself face to face with a troll. The panic pounding through your brain is interrupted by razor-edged teeth and claws. You snap yourself out of the dead man's memory. The corpse lays, lies in the damp and, gri and grimy ground. His hood and mask are missing, and his clothes are shredded. Well, there's trolls in here. A hooded man, presumably a member of the Leaden Key, was ambushed on his way to, through the catacombs. The disguise that would get him past the Leaden Key sentries was lost when the man was carried off by trolls. So, so it looks like you're supposed to use a, a disguise in order to get past the uh, to get past the Leaden sentries. And since we don't have the disguise right now, we may not be able to sneak in. But maybe I can find a disguise as I continue. We'll see how it goes. Probably go into stealth mode as we proceed. Can I use this door? It just opens right up. All right. We'll have to be careful and watch out for any surprise trolls. Troll has been started. Oh, there it is. It's not moving right now. Let's just avoid for now, perhaps. Is that another troll? Lesser black ooze. That's way less scary than a troll. Should I just go wreck it? Should I just go to? Oh, we're fighting. Okay. I thought it was going to pause when I saw that guy, but apparently not. Alright, so... Eh, it's a lesser black ooze. We're probably gonna be fine. Uh, yeah. Everyone make a big old best of it. You do an AoE buff on everybody since it's once per encounter. And he's down. Good job, everybody. That was really difficult, I can tell. Really difficult for uh, this giant pack of people to take out one dumb little animal. Alright, so... Oh, that's a... Ooh, Peril, why are you in front? Whoops. <laughs> so much for formations, right? Uh, lesser black ooze, black ooze. All right, we're gonna want everyone to target this character. Specifically, Adair needs to get right up front because he's a he's, that's that's the role he plays more or less. We'll have the wolves. We'll have both wolves attack the lesser black ooze on the side. Adair will attack the black ooze up front. You're going to cast an AOE buff to help us out here. You're gonna pretty much do what you always do. We'll have we'll have both of our archers focus on this lesser black ooze on the side to help out there, and the most of the party is gonna focus on the big black ooze. But we'll have a couple people. We'll have a handful of people working on the side character. There we go. Yeah, that's a nice little buff. All right, that'll help us out while we're at it, though. Druid spells. Let's have some fun with this character. So, oh yeah, I can shape shift. That could be fun. Let's do that. Whoa, that's what that that's what that animal looks like. It's like a giant. Let's see, does his character look like that right now? Uh, inventory. It does. So that's what he looks like. He looks a lot like the wolves we're seeing throughout. Uh, he looks like the wolves we've been seeing throughout. Uh, Bloodborne actually. Noticeably, 
We know this character has a damaged eye and a damaged ear. His wolf, his weird Stegler form or whatever, actually has a torn ear and a, and a, and a missing eye. That's some attention to, de attention to detail right there. So how's the party doing? Uh, our whole party has not really taken damage. Lesser Black Ooze is going to be dead in a second. Black Ooze, Big Black Ooze is pretty much down. I'm just going to let the, the party proceed for now. Let's seem to have things handled. Oh, right. We should set, get Durance closer to the combat. Is that, uh, that's a lot of target destroyed. Did we just destroy everything? Oh, it's just saying target's destroyed for every individual character that was targeting that character. We'll redirect our archers and our wolves to the new target. And in his new location, Durance will go ahead and do a nice, fun AoE to help the party. Which doesn't matter because the fight's over already. Let's see. Regenerating Moss. Yeah, that's Endurance Regeneration. So it's just generally good to have active anyway. It's a nice little recovery. What do we have here? Money. Ooze Plasma. A congealed mass of thick and opaque jelly. And Jasper. We found Jasper before. Uh, that's fine. Got it. Anything cool in here, or is this a dead end for us? What's that? Is that a great? Is that, is that a? Oh, these are probably. Let's see. Missing you, mm. Love you more. XXXOOO. We all have a debt to nature due. I'll have paid mine, and so must you. User Eureka. Vesark. I'm not really dead. It's I'm just pretending. These are those are those are just Patreon supporters. I'm sure. I mean, not Patreon supporters. Uh, Kickstarter supporters. That are just kind of leave. They just had a. They probably. They probably had a a perk where you could just insert something. Peridot. Uh, found almost exclusively in pale green color. Peridot is a glassy stone that is easy to find but difficult to find in specimens of gem worthy quality. All right, we're collecting supplies. That didn't really help us with progressing though. It's just kind of a little side area. So let's push forward. See if we can avoid. We're not going to be able to avoid the troll, are we? I get the feeling we're not going to be able to. Let's see here. How's detection going? Oh, uh, is that oozes? Look at the nasty oozes. Oh, look at all the slimes. Okay, nope, we're under attack. We're about to get attacked. Okay, is my party still in the order I want them to be in? Is that Sagani up front? Oh, shit. My bad. I was still in my formation I made for walking around town. The one that tries to make us look less like crazy people, and I, I just realized that that puts my archer and everybody in front. Welp. That's fine, we can fix this. So, S Sagani, yeah. you take you and Peril are going to take a step back, because you're ranged characters. We're going to have... this could be a more difficult situation. We're going to want to put Kana... and our... and... is his name Error? Error... Edder. Okay. Kana and Edder up front. A nice chant from our uh, priest to start off. Not sorry, chant is not an accurate terminology, I suppose. And since we're in combat, you're gonna turn into a Stegler. Rah, 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 I'm a big monster now. Okay, so nice AOE is active. Push forward a little bit, letting our letting our arch. All right, these are all our melee characters up front. You're all ready, so you will you will target the troll directly. And all right, we have our two wolves. Our wolves should probably target the uh, troll also. Actually, no. We'll have the, the wolves target the oozes to try to distract them a bit. And as everyone focuses on a... Mm -hmm. Let's see. We'll have the uh, we'll have our archers focus on the ranged enemies for now. And we'll prep Edar to do another fun spell to keep people active. Let's do an AoE buff to keep these people doing well. Cast that shit. Come on, yeah. How's everyone doing now? Everyone's attacking just fine over there. We should have Edar try to do his knockdown attack on this guy. If we're lucky, that'll make him much harder to deal with. Uh, Kana's taking some damage, which I don't like. I'll have to keep an eye on him so he doesn't get, he might get in trouble. Uh, mm -hmm. What is your ability? You have Marked Prey. Designates a single target as prey, giving the ranger and animal companion a damage bonus. So let's do it against this black ooze then. Is wh which animal is that? That's oh yeah, that's a mark. So that that's, that'll be good for you. Mar let's mark that target. We'll have uh, Durance should probably do an offensive spell now to help these people out, increase their act. Oh man, this is a big one. 
That'll affect everybody. Let's just keep this rolling. There's the AoE spell happening. Bammo. We're, let's see. Target destroyed. Peril. That was that was the uh, the small ooze. Okay, so now Peril can retar can relocate to that guy. Itumark. Garrix. Garrix attacked this other one. Oh, I accidentally, I accidentally told Garrix to attack the troll instead. Well, now he's focused on this guy. Uh, taking some endurance damage on 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 what's his name? Hera Vice, but he's doing otherwise okay. Let's see. Cat Flurry attack. Briefly accelerate the attack rate of the druid when in cat form. Let's make a mess of this guy. That sounds like funsies. All right, endurance. You have any fun offensive spells we can use against these guys? Divine Mark. Inflicting burn damage and lowering deflection. Let's try doing some burn damage on this guy. That could be fun. Some nice gr little bit of working together, multitasking. Everyone's doing great. Fuck that guy. Oh, target destroyed, sick honey. Oh, that that guy's destroyed. Okay, that's fine. I'm about to cast a spell against someone who's dead, though. That's probably not great. Oh well. Wolves redirect. Ranged characters redirect. You can redirect. We'll, we'll, everyone will focus on the uh, black ooze that's not currently focused on this guy back here. I may have a uh, hair vice disengage if I can. My head is spinning. Troll engaged. See. Oh wow, character death. All right, yeah. Don't disengage from combat. Right. I uh. Troll hits hair vice for 28 slash damage and disengagement and grazes with additional effect weakened. That was my bad, yeah. You don't want to disengage from combat unless you have a way of getting out. I should have just committed to it. Oh well. He'll get back up. He didn't take that much hit points damage, thankfully. Go for trying to knock this guy down. Oops. No, try, try to knock him down. There we go. Damn it. I keep clicking off of him. I'm trying to click on the chanter. We'll just click on his portrait. There we go. You haven't... Alright, you haven't done enough chanting to actually do a spell yet. Have you? Let's see. Requires three phrases. So I, can I, I can't... Oh, can I, can I actually cast that? Let's try it. Because that could be fun. I want to have a bunch of zombies. Skeletons! Oh, this gets fun. Do I, do I tell them who to attack? I do. Okay. They're a little hard to keep track of because they're everywhere, but... Alright. Now we have allied skeletons because fuck this troll. This troll's going to get wrecked. Let's have our, we're gonna have our archers redirect to the troll now. Yeah. We'll do wounding shot. Just anything we can do to apply stuff to this troll now since he's persistent in its uh, survival. Blammo. How are things working for you? I got skeletons, so I think you're in a bad, you're probably in a bad spot for us right now. Come on. Uh, that's the slime down, so all you guys can redirect to this troll that will not go down. Okay. Do I want to use another Durance spell? Where is Durance right now? It's genuinely a little hard to tell where he's standing. Uh... See, I probably don't want to cast right now. Yeah, the the party as a whole is doing fine aside from the wolf we just lost. So let's just, let's just focus on finishing him off, which should be right now. Alright. It's telling us about everyone who had their target destroyed. It's the same guy. I get it. It's fine. You don't need to. You don't... Oops. Did I just cast on accident? Maybe I didn't. Oh, that was all of the skeletons disappearing. Okay, fine. That's fine. So, what's our loot? We get lose plasma times two and troll skin. The hide of a troll is formed of what appears to be several layers of thin vines, plants, and mulch, forming a thick nearly impenetrable skin. I often forget that in many forms of uh, a fantasy fiction, a troll is a weird plant monster. It's, it's one of the it's one of the uh, pieces that's not always used when they use trolls and things. We'll just pick a path and start exploring, I guess. We don't know where we're going necessarily until we know where we're going. Is this some sort of cell over here? Yep, these are all probably more graves more grave type markings that have uh more labels. Oh, that could be something. Oh. Can't stand much longer. Well, way to go, us. This is bad. We should get out of here. Alright, well, things have gone better. Maybe we shouldn't play with the traps around here. Durance will recover, though. He took some hit points damage, though. 
Let's not let's get let's not get too pokey proddy around here. I probably should be checking stuff specifically with a uh, a character with high mechanic skill though, which is what is Sagani's mechanic skill? Uh, da, 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 da. mechanic zero. She's terrible. All right. So Peril probably has the highest mechanic skill at three, but we'll check a few characters. Edar might have a decent amount. Three. Kana. One. Herafas. Zero. So really, Peril's the one character most likely to deal with a trap situation. Maybe you'll take a look at it? And not die horribly? Trap triggered. Ow! I don't want to play with this place anymore. Ow! I'm leaving. I don't want to play. It's fine. I didn't really take any damage though, we're fine. Just a little endurance hit. And that that comes back in a moment, because we're not actually fighting right now. So should I continue down this direction? Let's go back to stealth mode. Better off seeing things but we're better as they say, time to see and not be seen. We're much better off being no noticing things before they notice us. Alright, now we have a better the proper layout with our characters in the right orders. Why is Peril so up front? He's like weirdly in front. It's probably because I just didn't, I, I didn't, uh, probably just clipped into something. That's fine. I don't, might as well just all attack this thing. It's just, a, it's just an ooze. We'll have, uh, some defensive casting from our main, our helpful priest. And yeah, just make a big old mess. Everyone hit it really hard and it won't get to do anything back. Probably don't need to be in slow mode right now. Oh no, another ooze. Maybe we'll all hit that thing too. There we go. Hit it with stuff. <laughs> we have so many characters. Yeah, at this point, my best pro approach is probably just let's let's all go hit the thing. I think I don't think a series of shitty little oozes are going to pose much of a threat, so I'm not I'm not going to waste too many spell casts on this kind of stuff. All right, do we win? Oh God, yes, I get it. The target was destroyed. That seems slightly glitchy the way that it does an individual target destroyed for every single player you have in the party. What's this over here? Uh, more Peridot. Alright. Yeah, I'll take all of them. We have an infinite stash space. Unless you specifically deactivate that feature. This game does let you make the game harder in various ways on purpose. For example, the game current by default, it wounds people before it kills them, but you can set it to, to actually like permadeath kill people the moment they fall in combat. Not endurance, I mean, from like when they run out of hit points, of course. That'd be brutal if it's like the run out, moment you run out of endurance, they're dead forever. There'd be a lot of characters dead already. This, this would be like Fire Emblem. So where... Let's see. Skeletal Fighter. This could be a more dangerous situation. Let's, let's stop here in the doorway. Let's see. Peril can take a closer look with his stealth skill. Oh no! That didn't work at all. I'm just gonna back off here. No, Peril, get out of there! Okay, everyone... Everyone need to help Peril. Peril's in serious shit right now. Uh, uh, cast your deflection spell. Keep people alive. All right, stealth was ineffective. <laughs> stealth is ineffective against magical creatures. Endurance low on Peril. He's probably about to go down. Probably can't do much about it either. Uh, yep. Yeah. Peril's been knocked out. Well, we'll make them pay at the very least. So let's see. What can I do here? Consecrated ground. Generating an edge, uh, ally endurance. That could be fun. I'm actually burning through a lot of my spells though, so I'm probably just gonna have to auto attack this guy for a little while. We're doing okay for now. Yeah, at the moment I think it's safe to just attack. Let's oh, I did it again! Ah, oh, I can't believe I did that. Uh, just, just keep attacking. Damn it! I just got I just got her all of us all just about taken out because I made the mistake of disengaging again. I I have that reflex. I need to I need to get rid of that reflex where I'm just like oh, someone's about to go down. I better get them out of there and then I get them killed. Yeah, that was going to happen either way. Come on, it's just a skeleton. We got this. Just a few more. Ah, Garrick is at low endurance too. That skeletal fighter hits fairly hard. Thankfully, we have a lot of party members. But yeah, that is not... That was not how to handle Haravis fine. We should have been fine in that encounter, but I made two grave mistakes where my main character got spotted very quickly, and I didn't... I, was, I should have been moving at slower speed probably to react faster. 
pole axes. Put those in the stash. And I should not have disengaged with my druid, which is a mistake. Uh, once one of the once one of the bones to which a soul desperately clung, now it holds only traces of the life it held. Vessel bone. You go right in the stash. Figure out what to do with you later. Okay, slow mode. Got it. Let's take a quick look around this area. Oh, that's ominous. Some Gravelord Nito type stuff going on here with this giant pillar of skulls. More skeletal fighters. All right, we've we've learned that those guys are kind of hardy. Definitely want to be prepared if we attack them. Hey. Send an Edar first because he's so damn hardy. Getting through me. Try to sneak up on him. There you go, Edar. All right. Now that Edar is engaged in co wow, early hit there. The wolves are going to join in. Our rangers are going to join in. Yeah. She's going to mark target to prepare him for taking a lot of damage. Hopefully. What? You're going to cast an AOE buff. To help out the party. There we go. Let's see. Oh my god, things have escalated. So, Skeletal Wizard times two. Alright, I think we have a new target for our two hunters right now. Let's do what we can to mess with these characters. Uh, this would be a good time to cast some offensive spells, probably. So, let's see. Slow moving energetic projection of the priest's faith, returning endurance. Oh, that's not as offensive as I'm looking for. Let's see. Repulsing seal sends enemies sprawling. Oh yeah, let's try to let's try to send these guys prone if I can. Oops. Try to center that a little bit better on them. Let's see if I can knock these guys on their ass. Hey guys. Oh shit, Edgar got knocked out. That's not a good thing to have happen to my tank character. Please. Ch trap triggered. Who's trap? Does, do by the trap, do you mean the seal I just put on that guy's foot, I assume? Or is it like a trap triggered in a bad way for me? I'm going to assume that it just means that we currently, he's going to get knocked on his ass. You guys are attacking him. This fighter's been knocked on his ass, which is good. Edar got back up, because he's a freaking boss, apparently. Let's folk, keep knocked down to keep this guy from being able to react in time. What? Durance is in combat now. Let's see. We'll do consecrated ground that could that could keep us going, and we'll have Kana move in with it to back up our uh, our friend Durance. Is that a fighter? It's a skeleton. Okay, that's at least not a fighter, so we might be better off. Kana's gonna start wailing on this dude. Edar got knocked out. Let's look at. Someone suggested that Edar's equipment is giving him that ability. Let's see, second chance. So that's why he's getting back up. Grant second chance, but it looks like we just we just lost our second chance. It's about as far as we're gonna go. That skeletal fighter is still persistent too. There's another dead one down there. Oh wow, wow! These skeletons are very dangerous apparently because both of my wolves are also down. So we're just having an all-around bad time. Is Sagani in melee combat right now? Or oh, did Sagani have troubles with the? Sagani may have had issues with the uh, line of sight. Let's get him next to get her next to peril. Who is this over here? Her obvious. You're going to shape shift because we need a new tank now. And you're going to get up on that set. Uh, can you find him? Shit, shit. I'm clicking pal poorly now. Let's see. Her obvious. I want you to attack the skeleton that's in here. There we go. I may have just told someone else to stop attacking that character. So who's this character right here? Well, that's Edar. Is, is Edar still alive? He's still standing. That's He probably just froze, though. There we go. I just want to make sure everyone's attacking this skeleton right here. As we move. Is he still persisting? He's st he, I think he's still persisting. Alright. This skeletal wizard just went down, thankfully. Peril succeeded. Here's the second skeletal wizard. Oops, did I just click on him with? I think I just clicked on with my druid. Hang on a second. You guys attack. You guys attack that guy still. We can move on to this other wizard since this one's down, and since Kana has been chanting, he should be able to cast some fun spells here. So let's see here. Thunderous explosion that stuns and shoves enemies in the area. Let's try to let's let's try to cast it on this guy right here. 
And you, Durance, can... Let's see, is there something nasty you can do here? Pulsing seal. Let's try to cast it on this skeleton to set, knock him on his ass too. That could give us an advantage here. You focus on the new wizard. You need to get in a proper position. There we go, to focus on this guy. This guy's still alive? I thought I killed this fighter. Oh wait, the wizard, it's just the wizard that's dead, right. We're still focusing on this fighter. So it's pretty much, oh, I, I put myself in a position where it's just the druid, huh? So actually my, I should probably have my two rangers help with the skeleton archer instead. Yeah. This repulsing seal will hopefully knock the skeleton, the archer over there down. So we'll have Edar and Kana focus on this prone wizard over here. There we go. Skeleton over there is prone. That's a good thing to have. Uh, Hera Vice is on low health. That's not a good position to be in. Uh, what Do you guys have any tricks? Do we want to wound it? I don't know if wounding really works on a skeleton, but I'll try any tricks we have at this point. The two of you combined might be able to help. These are both AoEs, so they don't really help from right here. We just need to do, need to do what we can to wail on this guy. A low endurance on here of art. We're he's in serious trouble now. Uh shit. Fighters are hard to kill, apparently. Is there anything I can do with uh Let's see, how do I help him from here? I don't have any spells to cast right now. You sh you could probably cast... No, I've, I've used up my chance, so I can't summon any skeletons right now. So I used that rolling attack. How do I help? I can't believe so many characters are down right now. I lost both wolves and my... And my main character, and my tank, just like that. Huh. And he's not going down. Let's see. If I look at this character's abilities, maybe I can. Ca is there a way to? Is it? Do I have a healing spell I can use right now? Let's see. Nature's vigor is probably my best approach at this point. If I if I can get it off. And he's down, unfortunately. So that's about all we 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 weren't able to do much there. Oh, uh, and now he's on my. He's immediately on Sagani, and he's destroying him basically. So. Let's see, your wizard's distracted. Durance should probably switch to this fighter. I don't think he's dis. I don't think he has to deal with disengagement because of his range. Now Sagani's low, and I can't run away because that gives that just gives me disengagement damage. Let's see. Uh, I can do an AOE frighten that probably won't help on a skeleton. A burn damage. Let's try. Should I run up and try Crucible of the Soul? I need to do some serious damage here. Uh, Crucible of the Soul. Did I just did I just fail to stand in attack range for that? Shit. Uh, Sagani just went down. Peril needs to get some distance. All right. This fighter is not going down, unfortunately, and my, I'm having some serious troubles here. Is this even where I'm trying to go? This might be a side area. It doesn't even matter. Huh. Skeletal fighter down. That guy was a beast. I should have had the whole party. Fo if I would, if I could go back and try again, I'd probably have the entire party focus on him. Because dear lord, I didn't realize that he was going to just start si single-handedly wiping out almost everybody. These could, these are probably some very high-level monsters we're dealing with here. Or I'm an idiot. Those are both entirely reasonable interpretations. Anyway, I'll try to summon some dudes. That would help. Durance, yeah. Everyone f switch to this wizard character. And we have, should have some summons here. Blammo! This wizard's fucked now. Revenge! We must take our sweet vengeance. Come on. They've killed everybody. We're not really killed, but we... Well, they almost killed one of us. That guy's almost dead. That's bad. So let's just do, wipe them out as fast as we can here. I wonder if this is. Un I wonder if this whole zone is unimportant, or if it's actually tied to the story quest. This uh, specific thing we're encountering here. So that got messy very quickly. Ooh, <laughs> you could almost fool yourself into thinking I had a bunch of allies until they all disappeared. Let's see, sword, basic equipment here. No problem. 
Hey everybody, you guys feeling alright? Everyone feeling alright right now? The good news is we're in the middle of a town, so I could just go back upstairs, potentially. Uh, rod, medium heater shield. Might as well just take all. There we go. Throw that stuff in the stash. Anything to pick up around here? Not necessarily. Got it. Huh, the party's felt the party's doing relatively okay actually right now, except for her advice. So he, he we're definitely gonna stop sending him into into melee range because he's not taking it so well so far. But he'll probably just fulfill more of a support role towards the back, the way that our priest does. Let's see here. There's a body. Just some leather armor. All right. Let's get all sneaky. Take a look around. There's got to be something in this direction. We just got to sneak up on their weird little cult meeting. Oh no! Why? Why must you do this to me? Oh god, how many traps are there going to be? Can I just go back into stealth mode? Let's see, maybe if I send Peril first, because of his mechanic skill, he might detect things before they trigger. Or just trigger them on himself. Oh, god damn it. Guess who's incapable of seeing traps, apparently, before they happen. Well, we're outside of its range, so now we just have to wait a moment for it to go away. We're off to a great start, and everything's going great! <laughs> Come on, trap. If you want to just dissipate for a while, I'd be, I'd be thankful. Do I have healing items in my inventory, really? Just some basic items. Ludrana's orders. Not major stuff, okay. Yeah. I was wondering if I had anything cool around I could use to help to help with, uh... Let's see. I guess if I can't, uh... If I'm not detecting traps for shit, I might as well send Eddar first, because he takes the least damage, apparently. He's hard to kill. He'll also want to be in front anyway if we fight something. And of course, that's when no more traps happen. Oh no, let's stop moving for a second here. Uh... They're not immediately hostile, but the moment this dialogue starts, they might become mm. hostile. We'll see how this goes. Everyone else approach? Eh? And I suppose we'll just reveal ourselves. This'll go great. Helig of Thane. A lone figure in tattered robes shuffles across the chamber, muttering under his breath. As you approach, the figure halts and swivels its head towards you. Its haggard visage is a labyrinth of wrinkles and sores overgrown by a moss-like beard. What's this? Who, who disturbs Helig's work? Its voice rattles and gurgles like a that of a drowning man. That is not the voice I made. <laughs> uh... What are you doing down here? Research a hodgepodge of animancy and necromancy. I have a peace and quiet as well as an abundant supply of subjects. If there's nothing else, be on your way. What are those creatures behind you? Just a few personal projects. Sorry, souls stuck in their mortal shells. Their flesh is as dead as mine, though their minds are not as well maintained. They flock me they flock to me like worms to drakes. They're not half as intelligent, but he watches as one stumbles into a desk. They serve for amusement. I'm just exploring the catacombs. The figure aims a gnarled finger at the door. Then go and thank your gods I'm not hungry. Farewell. There's just it's just a weird skeleton experiment place. Like, I don't even have to be here? Weird. Really weird. Yeah, let's get out of here. I don't want to play. Not, not, oh! Fuck. Right, the traps. Shit. At the very least, being maimed doesn't kill you, so... We're gonna have to get out of here. And I think... We've taken enough damage at this point, especially with a maimed party member, that we're going to have to lick our wounds in response to our own fuck-ups. So my goal right now is to leave the catacombs and go rest at an inn. And we'll see if everything I've killed stays dead or not, because I, I genuinely don't know. But things are not... I don't necessarily feel safe continuing forward in our current condition. 
Since I like my party members alive, as it turns out. 